Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation over here one of the hottest contenders. I was gonna say prospect, but you a contender now, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, hey, go ahead, Andrew Tabidi. Go ahead and make that announcement, man. Let everybody know what it is, man, what you got in store. Um, you know, hopefully um, we get on this um, August 26th. It's um, almost for sure, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, yeah, it's basically what happens. Yeah, the, yeah. The, you're going to be fighting on that Mayweather. It's possible, very possible, very you're going to be fighting on that Mayweather-McGregor undercard, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's big, man. That's big. Yes, now, Andrew, a lot of people, they've been asking me, how come you're not in that um, Cruiserweight tournament? Uh -huh. the, um, yeah, a lot of people, they're just wondering why why you, you're not in it. Um, basically, um, I guess they didn't accept me. Um, I, you know, I told, told everybody about it, but um, I don't know what happened. Maybe they accept me, but um, uh -huh. I'd rather fight um, the best people out there. So uh -huh. know, if, if there's any way I can get, get in there, that'd be great. But, um, you know, I just wait my turn. Just wait your turn? Yeah. Any opponents on the hit list right now, man? Um, you know, anybody that's going to get me to, um, to the title level, you know, anybody, anybody that's going to get me to where I need to go. Okay. Yeah. That's what that is, man. Yes, and and Marcellus, we got Marcellus over here too. My man, heavyweight Marcellus Williams. So Marcellus, we were just talking about him not being in the tournament. Like I said, I got a lot of people asking me, how come you know he, we don't they don't have an American undefeated prospect like Tabidi in that cruiserweight tournament? So what, what do you think about that? Your thoughts on that? I, I got man, it's politics, man. It's politics. It's like you know you don't want to risk uh, Andre Ward Part Two. Because at the end of the day, these big dudes, the higher ups who run this stuff, they want to make these European fighters look like almighty boxing gods. But we know, as melanated warriors, that that's not true. So you want to get a young, black, American fighter an opportunity to expose one of those guys. You know, because at the end of the day, when it does settle, when you look at the stuff, to be the undefeated guy, keep tapping 17 and 0. He'd be another undefeated fighter. He'd be the uh, experienced fighter uh, from Hungary and Thomas Lodi. So he proved his like his credentials to get in that super cruiserweight tournament. So he should be there. But I do understand the business and the politics side where they got the European endorsers, European sponsors, the big all these millions of dollars. So they want to keep it on that playing field. And that's the reason why he went in, because he was looking for it. He asked the guys, you know, and Lennon and LB, they did everything in their power to get him in there. And all these guys, Floyd told Floyd, he reached out to Floyd, he reached out to Dewan Blake, he did he did everything he was supposed to do to get in it. And it was out of everybody's hands, you know what I'm saying? Because they was already, the people who made that tournament was already picked who they wanted, you know what I'm saying? They already had their minds made up for who they wanted in the tournament, mm. basically. Like they got Mike Perez in there. Mike Perez is a heavyweight was notorious for being lazy. He never was really in shape as a heavyweight. So now he's killing himself to make cruiserweight for the tournament. He is sacrificial lamb. You could have easily took Mike Perez out and put Andrew Tabidi in. It only, it only makes sense. Mm -hmm. But you know, Andre Ward upset them last time when he was the super underdog. You said the they want to make sure that don't happen again, you sure said. That happen again. Andre Ward was a super underdog in the Super Six. Nobody thought he was going to win. You had Frotch, Kessler, Arthur Abraham, all these guys who were supposed to be the guys in 68. He came in to beat all those guys. Dominant fashion, unanimously, no, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. So they don't want to put two of that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Mm. That? That's, that's unfortunate, man. That, that's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, but as you know, like I know, we know, that's the business. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's always been like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, I yeah. a long time ago, Ali said, like, boxing. It's, uh, he was like, it's two black guys beating each other up and white people watching. <laughs> so when they can get a white hope and make him the star, they they on the edge of their seat for that chance. Uh -huh. Like, oh, we let them guys fight each other, but this is how I got up here. So, you know, there ain't no hate to none of them guys, which you say with none of them, because it's money, it's business, politics. I know how it goes. Uh -huh. But I'm just saying what I think is the reason why. Uh -huh.